In this problem, we're being asked to write a quadratic equation. Our final answer will be a quadratic equation having roots 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3. If we're being asked to write a quadratic equation, you should know that your answer should be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. A quadratic equation is an equation where the degree of x is 2, the degree of the equation is 2, and all quadratic equations have two solutions. In this case, we want to write the quadratic equation that has the two solutions of 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3. The way that we will do that is we'll use a property that quadratic equations have that states that quadratic equations have the form of x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots equals 0. Well, quadratics have the form x squared minus the sum of the two roots, all quadratics have two roots, times x plus the product of those same two roots when equal to 0. Let's apply this property with the two, salute, the two roots given in this problem, 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3. So, in this problem, since our two roots are 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3, and our quadratic equation will have the form x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots, the equation will begin x squared, and then I'll subtract the sum of the roots. Minus, the sum of the roots is just taking 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3 and adding them together. Multiplying that sum then by x, followed by a plus sign. In this formula, there's a minus following the x squared and a plus between the second and third term, the product of the roots. That's going to be, in this case, 2 plus the square root of 3 times 2 minus the square root of 3. This is equal to 0. I'm going to do the algebra so that I can write this as a polynomial. That algebra will involve combining the like terms in the sum of the roots, which will leave me with x squared minus the irrational part of the roots plus the square root of 3 and minus the square root of 3. Those add up to 0. So this term becomes simply 2 plus 2, which is 4x plus. The majority of, this, of the work in this problem will come from multiplying 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3. But this work is not too bad. When multiplying these binomials together, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative square root of 3 is negative 2 root 3. The square root of 3 times 2 is positive 2 root 3. And the square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, a positive times a negative is a negative. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. Now simplifying this product, as is always the case when multiplying conjugates, negative 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 0. So this product becomes 4 minus the square root of 9, which is 3, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So our product of the roots, 2 plus the square root of 3 times 2 minus the square root of 3, turns out to be simply 1. That's added at the end of this quadratic equation. And I now have written a quadratic equation, x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. This is the only quadratic equation that exists that has the two roots, 2 plus the square root of 3 and 2 minus the square root of 3.